Hello, and welcome to another Cuz Bad Guys Tactical Breakdown. In this breakdown, we are going to go over Batgirl, otherwise known as Barbara Gordon. Uh, this model, I believe, is from the comic books, most notably probably the New 52 comic books, just because of her paint scheme and uh, looks super good. She's a great team up with Gordon. Uh, on the tabletop, she plays pretty straightforward with what she's supposed to be doing and let's go ahead and get right on into her character card so right off the bat she is barbara gordon with the alias of batgirl she is a sidekick for both the batman crew and the law forces crew she can also be taken in a birds of prey team which is a pretty awesome way to run her and it's one of the only ways that i actually run this character so let's go right on into her weapons. She has Batlings. This weapon is double stun for damage, is rate of fire two. She has two ammo. It is throwing, so that means her rate of fire is not reduced for her moving. And the damage for it is based on her strength, which is four plus, which is pretty good. And then it is also short range, so 20 centimeters. Batlings, they're really uh, decent things you mostly use them when you either can't get to base to base combat uh, or if somebody's trying to run away from you because they only have one or two stun left they're really effective weapons to drop those characters that are trying to get away from giving up points for being knocked out so let's go right on into her stats so she is willpower six willpower six is pretty good it's uh pretty average for a sidekick character uh she doesn't have all the counters in the world to be able to do stuff but still pretty good and then something that i've already touched on a little bit which is strength four plus this is actually really awesome on her because most female characters in the batman game I, I don't know why, but for the most part, they're strength five. So they're rolling fives and sixes to damage. But Batgirl, she is strength four plus. So damaging in close combat and when she throws her battlings on a four, five, or six, which is pretty great. She is then movement three, attack three, defense four, and endurance six. So movement three, this is pretty solid on her because of uh, her movement she's not an acrobat but she's she's got the bat claw so pretty mobile movement three really helps her out makes it so you can get places get to where you need to go especially if you've got the bat signal stuff like that gets you there she is attack three which is a little wanting attack four would be a little bit better on her but she's not as brawly as other characters like damian wayne or red hood any of those guys she's not as brawly as they are so i totally get why she's only attack three but it's probably her weakest stat and then defense four defense four is solid on her because uh some some sidekicks some free agents you'll end up getting defense three and defense three is not something you want defense four she's getting hit on fours and higher when she gets shot at and when she gets punched in close combat it's pretty solid defense four also lets you put four defense counters on her so she can block incoming attacks it's really good and then endurance six endurance six uh she's not a super tank but because of some of her personal traits you don't have to worry about her taking a ton of hits plus what she does the way i use her is uh, she goes after the bat signal she doesn't really go after characters she'll come and help out later on uh, totally depending on the situation so endurance six my bat girl she almost never gets shot at almost never gets in combat so not too bad uh so let's go ahead and get right on into her personal trait so her first personal trait is going to be the bat claw bat claw is the standard piece of equipment that most of the bat family have it's the spend a move in a special and you get to essentially use a grapple hook you can move 30 centimeters but it has to be a vertical change you've got to go from the street to a building or uh from a on top of a building into the street you've got to do some kind of vertical change and you can move 30 centimeters uh bat claw great ability 
really, really like it. Her second personal trait is going to be martial artist. So this is, she cannot be outnumbered in close combat. She doesn't suffer from uh, numerical superiority. So if two guys are fighting her in close combat, her defense doesn't drop because of that, which is pretty solid. Her next personal trait is going to be Informer. Informer gives you an additional pass at the beginning of the turn. So if your uh, crew is outnumbered, so say you're outnumbered by two characters, you would normally get two passes. Informer makes it so you get three passes instead of two. It's a pretty great. Uh, the Bat family and law forces, if you have a Bat signal, you're usually going to want that last activation so you can turn the Bat signal on and just make sure that it is on. Uh, Informer, that is an ability that will help you get there. Her next personal trait is going to be the Bat Cape, which not all of the Bat family has this, surprisingly. Uh, the Bat Cape is... You spend a special if you fall or jump off of a, a building or something like that, something where you would take fall damage. If you spend a special, you don't take any damage because she flaps out her cape and just glides to the ground. Uh, pretty good ability. Really helps you not have to use your back claw if you don't want to and you're on top of a building. Her next personal trait is going to be Stealth. So this is the ninja ability that normally in the Batman Miniatures game you can see 30 centimeters uh, if you're trying to shoot at somebody or use an ability or something. Stealth is, instead of it being 30 centimeters, you can only see this m miniature within 20 centimeters. So she's a little, a little sneaky, uh, pretty awesome ability, really works out. And it goes into her next trait, which is Sneak Attack. Sneak Attack and Stealth, they go together hand in hand. It's really, really good. So Sneak Attack is if at the beginning of an attack, you can spend a special. If the person you're attacking couldn't see you at the beginning of your activation, they can't spend uh, defense counters to block your attacks which is pretty solid. It means this character can go after somebody like uh, Ra's al Ghul or Deathstroke. As long as she hits them, they can't spend their defense counters to try to block stuff. Sneak attack is pretty great. Uh, it would be better on her if she could do more damage in close combat, but in the team with Birds of Prey, she actually can. We'll go into that later on in the video. And then her last personal trait is going to be combo with unarmed. Combo is one of those great close combat abilities that lets you get more counters when you spend them. So combo is going to be for every two attack that you spend, you get an additional attack. She is only attack three, so that means if you put three counters in there, the three counters is only going to turn into four. But if you use Titan on her, which is something that I try to do if she... Uh, goes and turns the bat signal on. I then have her go after some Titan, pick it up. Uh, Pop Titan makes it so she goes from attack three to attack four. And then when she attacks somebody in close combat, her four attack dice turn into six. Uh, so combo with unarmed can be really good. Right at, at its base, it's not very good. But if you combine it with other things, it can get, get to be pretty good. So... Onto her cost. So she is Reputation 59 with zero funding. Reputation 59 is a little steep for this character. It's one of the reasons why I essentially only use her in the Birds of Prey because there are other characters that fulfill her role, which is going to turn on the bat signal for cheaper. Uh, just because you can get Damian Wayne for 50 points, just as an example. Uh, but Damien Wayne can't go on the Birds of Prey. So Batgirl uh, fulfills that kind of a role in the Birds of Prey very well. She can also be much more aggressive in the Birds of Prey, and her point cost doesn't change. So 
uh, that is some pretty great stuff. And then funding, she costs zero dollars and she has a ranged attack, which just like I was talking about earlier, the battlings, you don't want to depend on those to knock people out, but they are great when you just need to put one or two stun on somebody because it is a range attack as long as you hit them you're going to do one stun no matter what because of the scratch rule and then she is strength four plus so 50 percent of the time when you hit somebody they are going to be taking those two stun uh and getting those for free with because of no funding is pretty great uh so let's go ahead and go on to strengths and weaknesses so let's cover strengths first her strengths are going to be her stealth that is an ability that's going to keep her from getting shot at. Uh, combining that with the Bat Claw and the Sneak Attack, uh, because she is Willpower 6, you can put one dice into movement, two into special, and then three into attack, and that's her six willpower. It makes it so she can Bat Claw off of a building, and Bat Claw is 30 centimeters and Stealth is 20 centimeters, so as long as you have... Uh, that 10 centimeters to play with and you can actually base somebody you can spend that one special for sneak attack and then punch somebody four times because of combo uh, and then they can't block so it's pretty good at jumping down and hitting a henchman that's already taken some damage and knocking somebody out uh, but you don't want to depend on that and you don't want that to be your first attack against somebody because four damage she only does a single stun in close combat and four damage isn't normally going to knock anybody out that and you have to roll perfectly you have to roll hits and damages with all of the dice so don't depend on that the thing that this person does this character batgirl she goes and turns the bat signal on really well and then she is a great objective grabber because she's 59 points she's pretty fast with the bat claw in movement three that is what she does. Uh, her weaknesses. Weaknesses are going to be her attack. Uh, attack 3. It's not very good. It is better in the Birds of Prey just because of some of the things that she gets. And then another big weakness is going to be that she doesn't have a way to deal with getting shot. So anybody with night vision or a scope, anything like that, you want to make sure that she is not in range of that person to shoot them, shoot her, because she is not an acrobat. She doesn't have dodge. She doesn't have bat armor. Uh, doesn't have any defenses from being shot at. So you want to play off of her stealth and then make sure guys with those abilities, with night vision, total vision, uh, any of that stuff, can't draw a line of sight to her, because. With only Endurance 6, she'll get shot by somebody like uh, Deadshot, and she will hardcore go down. So let's go ahead and go on to her Birds of Prey abilities. So with Birds of Prey, uh, the latest FAQ has given the Birds of Prey boss some more abilities. So uh, the boss gains plus one willpower, so Batgirl goes from... Uh, willpower 6 to willpower 7 so getting more uh, more counters to activate on and it also makes it so she can pass willpowers with a higher chance so she's passing on a 7 instead of a 6 she also gains leadership which is a bubble effect that lets friendly characters re-roll willpower checks which there aren't a ton of willpower checks that you need to do, but if somebody tries to hypnotize somebody or something like that, uh, leadership is a great ability. And then the biggest thing that helps her out with this is going to be reinforced gloves. So reinforced gloves is going to be just like Batman, just like Bane. Instead of doing the one stun in close combat, she does two stun, which is awesome it like doubles her output makes her a much better model so in the birds of prey batgirl is a great leader she is a great boss to have for the crew all right so this is my model for uh batgirl this is actually stephanie brown that's the reason why she has blonde hair instead of the red hair that barbara gordon has i'm a big stephanie brown fan just because i when i was painting this model i was actually in the middle of reading batman forever 
and in that she's spoiler but uh a few years ago she actually took up the mantle of Batgirl and then she was also a Robin uh Stephanie Brown awesome character great in the comic books really like how this character actually came out how her blonde hair looks uh and then the black and the yellow is just classic uh Batgirl really great stuff so let me know what you guys think how do you guys play this character do you like playing her more in Birds of Prey uh let me know and remember cause bad guys Thank <laughs> you.